Welcome to North Wales. I'm here for the Conway Half Marathon, which I ran yesterday. Here's what happened. So after a long journey involving trains, planes and automobiles, uh, we arrived in North Wales and specifically Landudno uh, in order to run the Conway Half Marathon. Uh, the Conway Half Marathon we were here for because my brother, who's run it several times, had recommended it and said it was a really, really beautiful place to run. And frank, frankly, it is. But it's also goddamn tough. Now, I'm not here just to run the half marathon, just for the, because it's beautiful. I actually had a performance reason to run this half marathon, uh, because Wangi had promised that if I could get under 140, she'd give me 50 quid. So if that's not motivation, I don't know what is. Uh, so, 140. Uh, several weeks ago, actually 15 weeks ago, I set up a Garmin plan to help me to get to that sub 40 half marathon time. And I followed it relatively diligently over the last few months. And last week, I looked on the Garmin plan to see what it would predict, to see if it was confident that I could actually hit my targets. Uh, and one watch, one Garmin system, gave me three different predictions. Uh, prediction one was from coach Amy, who I'd employed at zero cost uh, to, to get me to the sub 140. She was actually quite confident I could do it in 132. Uh, the Garmin race predictor app was saying 136. But Garmin's pretty clever. It can actually give you a specific target or specific recommendation for uh, an event. Uh, and it was saying that for the Conway Half Marathon, it was estimating about 141, so considerably slower, because it is a tough half marathon. 141 would not get me my 50 quid. So uh, I knew that my uh, work was going to be cut out. Anyway, that was Saturday night we arrived in North Wales. On Sunday morning, we got up nice and early, which wasn't too difficult because we were pretty goddamn jet lagged. Uh, and we headed out to the race headquarters in Conway, right by the castle. Beautiful, beautiful place. Uh, and luckily, we actually managed to park right by the headquarters. Uh, Liana drove us. It worked out really, really well. We picked up our race numbers that uh, they held back for us. Super. It was raining. It was drizzly, drizzly rain, miserable, cold, wet. Uh, but it was, yeah, it was a very exciting event with 2,500 uh, at at attendees. We all queued up at the start, freezing, Dad. freezing cold, no, uh, and we, we set off. The first few K of this half marathon on the map, they actually look pretty goddamn flat. But if that's flat, it was the hilliest flat section I've ever seen in my life. So after five or six K, I was thinking this is pretty tough because I know that we've got the, the tough part coming up, which is the, the Great Orm, which you can see over there. Now, I know that's going to be a tough section. It's about 350 meters all the way up. Very, very slow going up there. I've not trained uh, much for hills in Singapore at all. It, 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 it's, it's damn difficult. And for the vast majority of it, you have the wind in your face. So you've got the wind. Actually, it would actually knock one foot into my other foot and almost trip me up when it was coming from the side. And the rest of the time, it was coming face on. It never seemed to be behind me. We got to the top of the Orm, which after a couple of very, very slow miles, and I thought, right, it's the time to shine now. I've got long skinny legs. I can just bomb it down here. And I did. I was wearing the Alpha Flies, uh, and those Alpha Flies are just phenomenal. They give you so much bounce. Uh, so when I could breathe uh, because, because of the wind blowing into my face, it was actually super fast. Uh, kilometer 16, I ran one of the fastest kilometers I've ever actually ran, about 3.45. And that was a uh, kilometer 16 of a half marathon, which is pretty, pretty, pretty phenomenal. At the bottom of the, uh, of, of the Great Orm, then you've got a 7 or 8k to get back to Colmwood Castle and the finish. And I thought, right, this is good. I think I've got a good chance of making the 140. But of course, yet again, that flat, it just ain't flat. Uh, and I'm about... 136, 137 with, with uh, quite a bit still to go and you've got to get back up onto the bridge that takes you to Conway Castle and I think I've got, I've, this is tough, this is tough, this is tight, I've got a sprint finish. So I used whatever I had left in the legs and I sprinted as much as I could and I pressed the button on my Garmin, 139.59. So in my books, just in time, inside the time I needed to get the 50 quid off Wangi. So I said to Wangi, is that good enough for me 50 quid Wangi? Right, trust me, I'm English. Give me my money, please. I was 139.59. She said, no, I want to see the official results. So later on that day, the official results came out and I was 139.55. <laughs> five seconds under every second is worth 10 quid so now i'm hoping that wangi will fulfill her promise and hand me over 50 quid congratulations oh thank you dear
83 to back. Congratulations, Tom won £50 sterling award for his Conway Half results in 1 hour, 39 minutes and 55 seconds from Highland, 19th of November 2023. What's £50 in Singapore dollars? 83 pound 59. $83.59. Thank you, Nick, for giving your promise. Don't need to check it. Come, yeah, come, I think yeah. I better hand, yeah, because uh, Not Andy. I trust you, you're Chinese, but let's see, right. 20. 20. 40. 40. 50. No, 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 no. <laughs> what are you buying? What are you buying? Five seconds. Five. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a few pints. That's, in England, that's a few pints. Yeah. In Singapore, it's not so much, but uh, here it's five pints. Yeah. You're happy, right? I'll spend it tonight. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Conway Half Marathon is a beautiful marathon. It's bloody tough, but it's, it's absolutely fantastic. The, the uh, support is superb. It is a beautiful place to run. Running up that arm is tough. But it's, it's great. And that speed you can get at the top end, when you're at the top of the arm and you've got two miles or, yeah, two and a half K just uh, bombing it down there, that is a fantastic feeling to really open up the legs and get going. Thoroughly recommend it. I'd definitely be back here.